given some rational functions, we want to figure out, do they have horizontal asymptotes or slant asymptotes or maybe none? All right, so as we take a look here, uh, let's zoom in here. We have g of x is 6x cubed minus 10x over 2x cubed plus 5x squared. So to do this, um, what we want to do is we want to be comparing the degrees. So the degree of the numerator in this case is going to be 3, the highest power on x, over the degree of the denominator is also going to be 3. Whenever we have the exact same degree between numerator and denominator, this is going to have a horizontal asymptote at y equals the ratio of leading coefficients. So that ratio of leading coefficients is the coefficients out in front of the highest power of x for both the numerator and denominator. So in this case, we have the ratio of 6 divided by 2. Or with a little bit of simplifying down, we can get y equals 3. So we're going to have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 3. On the next one, we have x squared minus 4x plus 1 over x plus 1. Again, we're going to be doing that same comparison. We're going to be looking at the degree of the numerator. In this case, it's going to be 2 compared to the degree of the denominator. Denominator only has degree 1 this time, so the numerator is larger by 1. All right, this is pointing us towards this is going to have a slant asymptote. All right, a slant asymptote is a little bit different than a horizontal asymptote. If your only uh, decision was, does it have a horizontal asymptote or not, you would answer no. But we can find the slant asymptote. In this case, basically what we're going to do is this division. We could use a long division to do this, but because we're dividing by something pretty special here, this 1x to the first power plus 2, we can use synthetic division. So what I'm going to do is dividing by x plus 2, I'm going to put a negative 2 out in front. And then I'm going to go ahead and use our coefficients for what's in the numerator. So I can say 1, negative 4, 1. Leave a blank row for now. That 1 comes down. And then our synthetic division process goes multiply. Negative 2 times 1 makes negative 2. And then we're going to add vertically. So negative 4 plus negative 2 makes negative 6. Again, we multiply. Negative 2 times negative 6 makes positive 12. And then we add vertically, and we're going to get 1 plus 12 makes 13. Now that 13 works as our remainder for this division. And our slant asymptote is going to be y equals whatever our quotient was. Hopefully we recall that our quotient was going to be the rest of this sitting next to the remainder. So this goes as a constant, and this goes as an x to the first. So we can read off our quotient as 1x to the first power minus 6. And that's where our slant asymptote is going to be on this one. But we do not have a horizontal asymptote. One more on here. This last one, we have k of x is x squared plus 4x all over x cubed minus 8. Again, we compare the degrees. Hopefully not too bad as long as we know what we're looking for. Power on x, the highest power on x is 2 for the numerator, so degree 2 polynomial over a degree 3 polynomial. This time, the denominator is bigger than the numerator as far as degrees go. So this is pointing us towards y equals 0. We are going to have a horizontal asymptote at the x-axis. All right, hope this helps out in clarifying these three different cases that can basically come up here. Um, compare the degrees, numerator and denominator. Either they're the same, numerator is bigger, or denominator is bigger. So hopefully fit into one of these three cases. Good luck.